is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I am answering now question number 21 from the practice paper for the Cambridge 0580, paper 2. Uh, this is IGCSE paper, which is the new non calculator style paper. So they put out a few practice and specimen papers out to get people used to this type of, um, this type of questions. Now, here we have a question which is, um, could be in any paper really. Uh, it's about vectors. It says in the diagram, O is origin and the length OT uh, is equal to twice the length TD. So this is like is there two parts, this is like one part, three parts all together. And M is the midpoint of TC. So this is, these two are equal, this uh, and TM and MC are equal to each other, the same length. Okay, O to C is C, so this whole vector here, O to C is the vector C. And O to D, the whole of this vector is D. It's called D. Find the position vector of M. All right, so the position vector of M. So the word position vector is very important. And what it means is from O to M. So ever, whenever you see the word position vector in a question, there will always be an O somewhere in the question. So the position vector from O to M, uh, position vector of M means find the vector from O to M. And we can make a little line between them to show what we're looking for here. We're looking for the vector between O up to M. That's what we have to find. So in terms of A, C, and D, of course, in the simplest form, so we can do this in two, way, in two ways. We can go this way. We can say O to M, the vector from O to M. We can say that's a vector from O to T plus T to M. Or we could go from O to C and then C to M. It really doesn't make um, too much of a difference. All right. So we can go from O to D, O to T, sorry, and then T to M. Right now, O to D, what is O to T? Uh, o to T. O to T is basically the same vector in terms of its direction as O to D, except it's a fraction of that vector. And the whole of this line is, say, three parts. O to D is two parts. So we can say that O to T is equal to two thirds of um, O to D. Two thirds of O to D. We already know what O to D is. Okay, o to D is D, so it's two thirds of D plus t to m. Now, if I want to go from t to m, um, I've got to go from t to o, then o to m. Or, I don't know what o to m is, I can also think of t to m as a half of t to c. t to c is, if we go from t to o and then o to c, so I can find that. Okay, I can even go the other way, way around, t to d and then from d to c. Okay, but t to c I can find quite easily. So T to M is a half of T to C. Half of T to C. Okay. So we can now start filling in some of this. So two thirds of O to D. Two thirds of O to D. Okay. So O to D is just the vector D. So that's two thirds of D. Plus a half of T to C. If I want to go from T to C, I've got to go minus two thirds of D plus C. Or I could even go plus one third of D. Okay. Um, but then I have to find T to D to C. So it's going to be more hustle. So I'll go this way. So I'm going to go from T to O plus O to C. T to O is minus two thirds of D. And then from O to C plus C. So this is the vector this is the vector from T to C, and what we want is a half of that, because we'll end up at M. We want to go from O to T, and then T to M. So this is going to give us our answer, but of course, we have to write this in its simplest form. So I've got to um, you know, tidy this up a bit and combine like terms. So I've got two thirds of D, and that's a half times minus two thirds, which is minus one third of D. As you can see, the T's will cancel. And a half times plus C, which is a half of C, so two thirds minus one third is one third. So you end up with one third of D plus a half of C. Okay, and there is our answer. And we can kind of think to, to ourselves, is our answer kind of sensible? So if you want to go from, we're trying to go from O to M. So if you think about it, a third of D plus a half of C kind of like makes a bit of sense. 
Okay, so it looks like it takes us from O to M. So there's our vector O to M, a third of D plus a half of C, or vice versa, the other way around. Okay, so that, that answers question number 21, which is all about vectors and vector geometry. And um, that's basically a pretty short question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist on the top of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of vectors from uh, the new syllabus can be found in the playlist over here. Vectors from the pre-2025 papers can be found in the playlist on this side. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link on the top. Thank you for watching and see you soon.